all doing good. For today's video, I'm going to do this look. This look is more concentrated on the eyes, especially on the liner part. And also I've used lots of new products in this video, like some are new to me and some are new to the market. So yes, if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. So to start off with, I've already done my foundation and the foundation I've used is this Maybelline Dream Satin Skin Foundation. Um, if you want to know more about this foundation, just click the eye here, it will directly take you to the video if you have done on this. For eyebrows, I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil from the face shop. This is called Design My Brow, Design My Eyebrow. Um, I have in the shade Black Brown. This is a really interesting product. It got um, this eyebrow pencil on one side and the other side it got the spoolie to brush the eyebrows. So I'm going to use this now. First, I'm going to brush my hair upwards. This one gives more kind of a natural effect to the eyebrows. Like this one, haven't got that orangey tint to it. This is more on the grey side, so it gives more natural effect. This one doesn't look harsh like the black one does. So this is perfect for the black hair people but who don't like to use black on their brows. This one got the little triangular shape to the tip so it really makes it easy to draw those little hairs in the front. And the other thing I really like about this one is it is not way too waxy so you don't get, uh, end up getting a lot of product when you want to drop thin hair. To start off the eyes, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix uh, Concealer as a base. Up a little bit. So I've just finished doing one of my off screen and I'm going to do the other eye. And for the eyes, I'm going to use this Sivana Colors Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one got 8 eyeshadows. This is the first time I'm using these eyeshadows and it is having a lot of compactment if it opens, yes and this one got two brushes and four lip shades with a massive mirror here this one also came with this uh, lip brush so first I'm going to take this shade uh, this taupey brown shade and I'm going to apply it as a transition shade in my crease If you are someone who is starting up with the makeup and you don't want to spend a fortune on eyeshadows, you can definitely give this palette a go because this one got uh, 8 eyeshadows and 2 blushes and 4 lip colors. So that would make a really beautiful hit. So you can definitely use this one. And this one costs around 300 something. I do not remember the uh, price exactly. I'm going to leave it on the screen somewhere. And now I'm going to take this eyeshadow. This is a bit more deeper than the previous one. And I'm going to take that into the crease. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to blend the edges. These eyeshadows are really good. Even the color payoff is really interesting. And now I'm going to take this eyeshadow, this is a beautiful rose gold shade and I'm going to apply it all over the lid. This is such a beautiful shade. I must say these eyeshadows are really good quality because you can see there is no fallout at all. I'm going back with the fluffy brush just to blend the edges and now I'm going to use this brown gel liner to line my upper lash line uh, this is from L'Oreal it is from their new Kans collection range I never wanted to buy this gel liner guys I wanted the plain brown one uh, I've asked the same at the L'Oreal counter and she handed over me this one I haven't checked it in the store till now I haven't checked the packaging for the shade 
when I was applying uh, this liner, when I was applying the liner to this eye, I realized this is not the one I wanted because this one got lots of golden shimmer in it. It's not plain brown eyeliner. Then I checked the packaging and I realized, okay, I got the wrong product. So it's my fault. I haven't checked it. So I've applied this brown eyeliner and I didn't like the look. So I uh, went back and um, applied black eyeliner on top of this just to make it more uh, intense and noticeable. So I'm going to do a wing with the help of this uh, tape. As this look is all about the eyes, I'm doing a really thick wing. And now I'm going with my good old Maybelline black gel liner. I'm going to stop at the middle of my eye. I don't want to take it to the inner corner. So before moving on with the eyes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Do Me Touch Concealer. I kind of got bored using this concealer guys because I've been using this from such a long time. I really got bored. Do let me know in the comments if you have any good concealer suggestions. That would really help me a lot. And now I'm going to line my outer half of my eye with the same brown gel liner. And for the inner half, I'm going to use this uh, green eyeliner from Revlon. This is their Photo Ready Kajal. I'm just going to use a cotton bud to smudge the liner. And now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Do let me know guys if you have any good solutions for mascara as well because I'm in a hunt for new mascara. And for the lashes I'm going to use this Ardell Demise. For the blush I'm going to use this Essence blush. This is in the shade 20 Baby Doll. This is not a new product in the market but it is definitely new for me. I'm going to use this all over my cheeks. This is such a beautiful motivation. To highlight the higher points of my face, I'm going to use this Sivana Color Shimmer Brick in the shade 02. Again, uh, this is one of those products which I don't want it to buy because I've got a similar one in the Revlon. I don't want it the, uh, this to buy. I wanted that uh, the, I wanted the one with the orange layers. I ordered that one, but I got this one in the mail. Again, it was my mistake. I haven't checked it for a good one and a half week. Uh, but this time I was not in town, so I couldn't check the mail. So yes, I'm going to use it to highlight. Oh, this one is really pigmented. And the highlight is really intense. This shimmer brick is really intense. I hope my camera is catching the shine. You have to use it with a really light hand because this is really intense. There is a huge chance you can end up looking like a disco ball. For the lips, I'm going to use this new color bar kiss proof lip stain. Um, this is in the shade Hot Air Latte. That rhymed.
It is such a beautiful brownish pink. I really like this lip color. I think most of the Indian skin tones will look flattering in this color. Let's test the kiss proof claim. It is really kiss proof. There is no transfer at all. And it is so lightweight on the lips. You don't feel that you have something on your lips. It is so lightweight. There is no transfer at all. I'm pretty impressed with this lip color. And that finishes our video guys. I hope you find some budget friendly products to add to your makeup kit. And yes, if you have enjoyed watching this video, if you like the look what I've created, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That would really mean a lot to me. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.